in our society today, even among friends, even among families, there is repeatedly instances of Cain's jealousy manifesting, of people who are not interested in putting in the work in themselves, in putting in the work in their business, in putting in the work in their relationship. But when they stand and see another person's reward, they're so filled with the Cain's kind of jealousy, which by the way, is a dangerous kind of jealousy because see where it landed Cain, a murderer of his brother. So what are some ways in which you can handle and deal with the king's kind of jealousy? The first point, plain and simple, build. When you get a chance to build, build. Be hardworking, be diligent, so that when the rains come, you will not look and hate your neighbor simply for having a shed while you stand in the rain. Build. Look into yourself, build your relationship, build your businesses, build your career, make the right decisions. Don't hate on someone who is married and in a good relationship because you're stuck up on a preference that makes no sense. Build. That is the way to avoid the Cain kind of jealousy. Let's look at the second point. You are not better than anyone. That's a point I want us to stay a little bit on and think about. You are not better than anyone. Now let me say it in my American accent. You are not better than anyone. When you feel like you are more deserving of blessings that you find someone else that you think is less deserving than you, the Cain kind of jealousy finds its ugly self in your heart and brings out the worst in you. The Bible puts it this way. Why do we boast when we know that all that we have, we have received of the Lord? When you think and go through life like you are more better and more deserving than X, Y, or Z, the moment you see X, Y, or Z getting a blessing that you have not gotten yet, the Cain's kind of jealousy will find its place in your heart. And maybe you would not physically kill that person, but every day you were silently wishing they were dead. Right. Watch out. Ask. Point number three. Right. The Bible says you ask and you do not get because you ask with the wrong motive. The reason you want to marry the six foot tall guy is so you can show on your Instagram stories and feed that you also could do the same. The reason you are trying to get a house is because you want to show that you also can do. The reason why you are taking the pictures and doing everything that you are doing is so that you also can show. So the motive behind why you are asking for the blessing that the other person has is so that you could show. But you know, the Spirit of God is just bringing to mind the example of Penina and Hannah. Penina had sons and Hannah didn't. And she wanted a child because her, her you know, co wife had kids that she didn't have. But see here, the fact that she prayed that prayer about Samuel and promised to dedicate him back to the Lord, she was ready to get the gift that she was praying for and give it right back to God. Most of us today cannot do that because we want that blessing in our face so we can use it to taunt the other people and say, look, I got a car too. Like what is the essence for me to pray for a car to take that car and give it right back into church as a seed? Well, I needed a car just so I could show X, Y, and Z that I am also capable of getting a car. Ask right. Because when you do not ask right, that you give room for the Cain's kind of jealousy to find its place in your heart. And the last point that I'd like to share with you today, walk your lane and walk it real good. Stop focusing on what's going on in the other person's lane. You've got work to do. 
You've got things to be excellent and diligent with. Why are you so concerned about the other person's green grass when your grass needs watering, when your grass needs weeding, when your grass needs to be taken care of? If you had so much attention paid on your own space, you wouldn't even notice the other person's greener grass. Mind your business. Because when you become a busybody, trying to figure out what's going on with everybody, Cain's jealousy is knocking at your door. Remember that when it is time to build, build so that when the rain comes, you will not hate your neighbor for simply having a shed while you stand in the rain. Hope this is encouraged. So, I know it's a mix. This is.